All right, hi everyone. So are we waiting for anyone else on the, the Boys and Girls Club side? I think this is everybody today. Awesome. Ashley, I'll let you kick us off. All right, so we're ready to go. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I am Ashley Bachman with Scott's, and I am joined today with my colleague from MLB, David James. And really, we received your application and thought that your submission was really awesome and just wanted to talk to you a little bit more today. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Um, as Ashley said, David James from Major League Baseball and Vice President of Baseball Softball Development. Uh, we run all of the youth programming uh, out of the commissioner's office and in conjunction with the 30 clubs. So great to meet you. And uh, through the Scotts Field Refurbishment Program, uh, both Scotts and MLB are committed to improving fields to encourage youth and communities to get outside and play. We've got a few questions for you that we'd love to ask. And, um, you know, you take your time to respond. Um, we appreciate you guys speaking from the hearts and wanted to just make sure you guys okay if uh, we, we record you today in regards to getting uh, some updates from you guys there locally. Absolutely. Perfect. So could you tell us how did you find out about the Scott's Field Refurbishment Program and what made you guys decide to apply? Um, Taylor, I can start. I know, so I, I, I'd written some of the grants in the past, and I know Taylor has, uh, has taken over that um, task more recently. Um, I know we, we've had a handful of years of, of applying and, and looking at this grant. Uh, you know, I believe most times, you know, if it's affiliated with Major League Baseball, it at some point comes through Boys and Girls Clubs of America because of the national partnership. So I think through the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, we've been made aware of, of this grant. And um, really the, you know, one of the, the reasons behind, you know, uh, I grew up playing baseball, not at a Boys and Girls Club, but I grew up playing baseball. My background came from uh, sports and athletics here locally in Wisconsin. We've got a partnership program loosely with the Milwaukee Brewers called Little Brewers, where, you know, they'll provide some hats and some jerseys um, for a seven to eight year old coaches pitch fundamental develop development, um, feel good, everybody bats, you don't keep score and just, just a really foundational uh, program. And, and we've, we've, we've organized and played with some other clubs during COVID. It really got shut down the the past two years. And, and, and really the reason <clears throat> it's been a passion project of mine. You know, I think Joe Morgan used to have a, a grant that we looked at. I think either Cal or senior uh, had, had a grant that we'd looked at in the past. So we've been looking at this project for, I've been with club here 12 years. And, and I wanna say for the better part of a lot of that we've been looking, uh, we have a baseball, I wouldn't even call it a diamond. We have a backstop and we had, used to have a rough infield and um, you know, our, our kids, you know, are, are excited about getting out there. And I just, I, I think about our kids and, you know, wanting them to have the best and deserving more and how exciting I was as a kid to go on to a legitimate field that, that, that looks and has that feel. Um, and I think, you know, from really not doing anything baseball related through COVID and previously doing some things, I think, you know, in an efforts to to excel and, and get kids excited, I think a refurbished field would, you know, not just club kids, but attract the community and, and other entities to, to come uh, to the field. So that's my initial rambling when it comes to this passion project of ours um, for the past decade. No, yeah. that, that's, that, that's oh. greatly, that's greatly appreciated. And, and to your point about the challenges and things like that, you know, you were dealing with everything else that was going on with COVID, but still trying to, to make sure they had an opportunity to play, uh, you know, as it relates to the field, you know, what's your view if, you know, you can get them out there on the field, what is the impact, you know, what's the positive effect for all of them? <clears throat> um, and Danielle and Taylor, feel free to jump in. The, the impact I feel is, you know, 
it's, it's, a, it's a team sport. It was a sport that I started at seven and, and played through junior college. And, you know, we, we focus so much on at club early on providing sparks, whether it's in arts or business or cooking or education or, or career development or sports and athletics and healthy lifestyles. This is the place, especially, you know, that seven, eight, nine-year-old age where we can provide that spark and get kids interested in something that can, you know, positively influence them, you know, the, the, the team sport, the health aspect, you know, the traveling, the mentorship that comes with coaches, you know, that carry on, you know, we're that Kickstarter for a lot of those things. And I see, you know, the field and the base and baseball, that being a real spark point for a lot of our kids to move on and continue that on. We don't have the capabilities of doing much more than, you know, that younger seven to 10 age group, um, just because of the capacity of our facility. But I would love to see us become a feeder system for other entities. The struggle here in the city of Green Bay uh, versus some of the uh, area communities is, is that feeder system to, to athletics, bat, football, baseball, basketball, area communities around us are starting kids at five, six, seven, eight years old. Kids in the center of Green Bay and in, in the city of Green Bay aren't starting organized athletics until sixth, seventh, eighth grade. And, and, and folks are wondering why they can't compete. Well, you know, when the area communities have started their kids at five and you're starting at 13, you know, there's just those, those fundamentals aren't there. So I would envision us becoming and, and just at least that spark aspect and, and that feeder aspect. Yeah, I would agree with that, Ben. You know, we have our, our little Brewers League for our youngest members, and then we have a couple other baseball programs for the older kids, but, you know, we don't have the, the competitive league for those kids. So I think the feeder, the feeder program is the perfect vision for what a field can do for us. Taylor, do you want to do you want to expand on like badges? Yeah. So we also, um, David, you might be familiar with play ball. That's mm -hmm. the MLB's yep. uh, curriculum. So we run that, um, and then we also run a local program called Badges for Baseball, mm -hmm. and that's in partnership with our local police department and sheriff's department. And that program, while it's it's largely baseball focused, it's also character development focused, and um, it really is aimed to help our youth develop positive relationships with local law enforcement um, and seeing them as, you know, humans and developing good relationships and, you know, touching on a whole host of other things um, and, and really fostering that relationship there. So we kind of use baseball as a platform for all of those other things, especially for our older kids. That's awesome. And I, I was going to ask a question just around how the refurbished field will impact the community. And I think you guys have already hit on that in a few different ways, which is wonderful. So I'm just going to open it up a little bit just to say, is there anything else that you kind of wanted to share with us as kind of a key um, reason for the grant that we haven't already touched upon? Danielle, Megan, do you have anything? I know Megan's, Megan's really new. Danielle's still fairly new. Taylor and I are the old timers. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, being a lifelong, I, I've been with Boys and Girls Club for 20 plus years and just see, you know, you know, our, our kids deserve good things and nice things and, 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 and quality things. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, we'll, you know, we're a nonprofit, you know, a lot of times money is tight. So, you know, a lot of times we have to make things stretch, but anytime um, we can give kids top of the line and make them feel invested in, uh, uh, we, we take advantage of, you know, we've been lucky enough through some of our arts or some of our other donors and other avenues and for our teens. And I think this would just be another aspect of, of wow, they've invested in their facilities. So, they're invested in me. If I'm a parent, which I am, and I pull in and I see a baseball diamond and, and that's a part of your facility, it, it, it makes me feel confident about 
this organization and their investment in my my child and i'm more likely to recommend you know the club look what look what they're providing for our kids um and the quality of it will will um improve as well so i, I think just the overall investment um in our facilities and our grounds and our programming our quality um would be an asset to to the the kids we do serve but just, you know just the community as well i could see outside agencies hey can we come in and, and can we rent the field and, and practice on it? Can we come to infield, the outfield? We have a tournament come, coming on it. Could you use it for other things like, you know, a kickball tournament fundraiser and have signage all over the place? So, um, you know, a lot of, lot of potential possibilities when it comes to that space. That's awesome. And we would agree with your statement that your kids are super deserving. We have Definitely been very impressed, um, both with your application, being able to talk to you today one-on-one -on -one and see you uh, across the video screen has been amazing. Uh, so I guess with that being said, I am thrilled to announce that you all and the Boys Girls Club of Green Bay are one of our winners of the 2021 Scott's Field Refurbishment Program. Congratulations. Congratulations. That is fantastic. Oh my Lord. We've been wanting this for a long time. Wow, thank you guys. I'm going and doing some video with the kids later today and I, um, if it's okay if I share it with those slot kids, you know, or, you know, just knowing it in my head that when I'm creating the video that like, they are gonna get that um, and be able to play the game on, on a field that is, uh, you know, and, and I've a field, not just grass <laughs> everywhere. Uh, I think it's just going to be so exciting for, um, and they're going to be so, so thrilled um, when, when we have everything done, said and done. So thank you guys. Fantastic. Um, I, I think uh, the timing of this is wonderful too. Uh, I think some of the folks from Boys and Girls Club are aware, maybe not uh, our friends at Scott's. This is MLB's 25th year of support of Boys and Girls Club of America. So uh, how appropriate for you guys up there. So really excited and, and congratulations.